Howdy. All right, there we are. I've put a curtain, I think. Let's have a look, see. Yep. A curtain that I think we can use for the top triangle. And then a valance, which I think we'll just cope with. And a king, queen size sheet for the um, robe bits. And you can see the dentist green and then a darker blue for the top bit. Alright, reading um, the second step, which said to put it out as a, as a cut it out of rectangular year length, your length and arm span, I find that a bit weird. And then you fold it in a triangle, so I'm largely going to ignore step one and combine it into step two. If I take it, if I pull back a bit, you can see I folded the fabric in half there, the big queen size sheet. Next, I will get my chorister, lay him down, and his feet will go down the pointy end and his head will go up the middle of the triangle. If you, obviously if you're doing it on your own you'll have to measure yourself to get your diameters. Now the thing about um, my husband is that he's more or less symmetrical so if I fold this triangle in half again then it will give me I only have to do one side of him and just sort of cut it double length. So you can see it's folded in half once to make a triangle because it's not a square to start with this two bits sticking out there so I now fold it in half again okay that's done so there's now a fold there a right angle there's four pieces of fabric four layers of fabric now if this is down here fold and fold it's kind of like making sandwiches except you don't cut them you fold them right next thing the chorister all right chorister give a wave Good lad. Now come lie down on the triangle with your head sticking out what would be here, here, mm. the head, that's where your head's going to stick out. So you're just lying on top now because mm -hmm. obviously you don't have a head hole. And down there go your feet. Down here. Hi. Very nice. Yeah, and it's right in the, uh, up so that your head's sticking out the top. And that's it. That's it. And you've got the, the fold right in the middle of your back. Now just stretch out your left arm there so we can get some measurements. Oh, uh, whoops, wrong arm. The other arm. <laughs> That's oh. it. <laughs> the other left. <laughs> Very good. Uh, yeah, does it need to come up a bit more? Though? That's it. Perfect. And the chorister is obviously going to the wrist. And if you're super keen, you might want to give a little bit more if you're hemming. And we'll go down here and have a look down at his tootsies. Oh, he probably doesn't want it dragging on the ground, zombie walks. Not, it's a bit annoying if you've got your thing dragging on the ground, so I'm going to chop it there. Thank you, Chorister. You're awesome. Thank you, thank you. And there he is, cut to size. I'm not cut to size. <laughs> I, I reckon I've cut the top, the, the hole for the head a bit big, but when I make the um, triangle that's going on top, I'll just make the head hole a bit smaller and attach, you know, when I attach them together, it won't matter. I think it looks good. If you're super keen, of course, you can sew up the edges. If you are not a sewer, it doesn't matter. You know, you're a zombie. You can be frayed. Not afraid. Ah! Chorus just sitting there humming beautifully. And here's his top bit. The top bit was about two, by, two foot by two feet or 60 centimetres. 600 metres, if, millimetres if you're that way inclined. So, do exactly the same thing. I'm going to fold it into a triangle. And a triangle again so that I can get the center for the head hole there where the where it's the most folded <laughs> yeah there is where I'm going to chop it again and this time I'm going to be a little less enthusiastic about the size of the head even though even though this chorister in question has a big head he um you know, it's bigger than it seems, it's smaller than it seems when you make the hole. Let's try that. That looks better. All right. So taking it now over to the chorister in question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stand up. And let's mm -hmm. go through on that triangle side. And... There it is. Do something amazing and coral. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you can staple the two bits together or sew them together, whatever you do. 
And that's it. That's the look. He's got the look. Woo! And you can see there I've gone for dentist-inspired colours. Beautiful.